Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Maya, and you are tuned in to Perez Hilton TV. Uh, what are you most looking forward to tonight? Uh, I think uh, you know the fact that we're honoring uh, Samuel Jackson, and we're honoring Prince, and we're honoring a lot of people who've made major contributions to uh, to the world of entertainment and done so in a way that isn't particularly African American. But we still find ourselves in 2016 being the only place that really honors those people. Prince notwithstanding, I think he's certainly been honored by everyone, but Sam I think is certainly worthy and it's great to be a part of this cultural experience known as the BET Awards. There's something that Samuel said that uh, stuck out with me. He's a grinder and people have questioned him in his career of why he's done or has continued to do independent films and he says, you know, when there are no doors open, I continue to work and I take smaller films, not every film is you know, the best just because it's big or it has a budget, I stay working though. And he's always working, he's always in something and he said from every experience and opportunity he has learned and is prepped for the next. So I respect that. And you know, I met Samuel L. Jackson years ago and I love his story. I mean, you know, this is a guy that's been in business for a very, very long time. And one thing that I love about him is he had been in the business for a long time, but he got his break when he was older than a lot of young actors starting out. And what a lot of young people don't know, that that's hard. You know, so I, I just admire his tenacity. I admire, you know, his craft, and he's incredible. And one of my favorite is Pulp Fiction. I mean, the dude, he was badass in that. He's been like the biggest, highest box office gross movies of all time. You can't beat that. I love, are you kidding me? I told him that when I, the first time I met him at a movie premiere, I said, nobody in Hollywood cusses like you. And you're an incredible actor, but I just I love the way you cuss at people. He he allowed me to cuss. He made he helped me learn how to cuss. So I love Samuel Jackson. Yeah, as a thespian, you know that's awesome to see, you know him grow from, you know his small role in Juice, and to see him really, you know, flourish. It's amazing, and we're we're excited to celebrate him tonight. Listen, I work with Samuel Jackson, his soul man. For somebody to be getting that award tonight. No, I, he, 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 he deserves it, you know. I'm a huge Samuel Jackson fan, and he's been killing the game for so many years, so I, I admire and aspire to have a career like his. I am a Samuel Jackson fan because of his Kango. I think when I saw him wear one, um, I wanted to wear one as well, all throughout middle school and high school. So shout out to the Kango King, man, Samuel L. Jackson. Have you uh, act out a movie quote, one of his famous lines. Are you cool with that? Oh, my God. I can do this one. This is good for me. You ready? You believe in Jesus, huh? You believe in Jesus, huh? Well, good, cause now you about to meet him. Ah! Mm. Everybody knows when you make an exception, you make an ass out of you. An option. Enough is enough. I've had it with these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane. Now you've seen how bad things can get and how quick they can get that way. Well, they get a whole lot worse. I don't know, you just gotta yell. <laughs> Say what again? Say what again? I dare you. I double dare you, mother effer. <laughs> Say what one more goddamn time. <laughs> this Samuel Jackson? Say what again? Say what again? I double dare you. You know me. It is my duty to please that booty. Alright. And now that you've seen how bad these can get and how quick they can get well, well, they can get a whole lot worse. Mother exactly. Thank you so much.